What is going on, my creatures of the night? Good to see each and every one of you again. Yes, I shaved my goddamn beard. Get the fuck over it. It's gonna grow back. It's just, I trimmed it and whatever, okay? There's, there's no new look. There's nothing. There's no change, okay? If you're wondering what shirt I'm wearing, it's a poppy shirt. I'm a supporter. I'm a fan. Whatever. Anyways, 2018 was an interesting year for music, but might I say better than 2017 as a whole, but good God, when I put this list together, uh, I was talking to some of my friends and some people about it and shit, and uh, some people are like, oh, don't put this song, oh, don't put that song, it'll offend people. Let me clarify something here. This is my top 10, me, my top 10, not the top 10, okay? You people need to learn what the word opinion is. So if we can just get that through your skulls, then we won't have a fucking problem. And don't worry, I will try not to offend anybody. Jesus fuck. Alright, number 10. Let's just get into this. Number 10, my worst songs of 2018. Number 10 is Filthy by Justin Timberlake. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Fucking fuck, I completely forgot Justin Timberlake dropped an album this year. And that's how awful and forgettable that this song and the album as a whole is. JT is one of the pop icons in recent years, at least people view him as such. So you would expect him to help carry the genre of pop music, and dear lord did he fail to do that. Uh, he was trying to go for this whole futuristic thing and basically create another sexy back and just trying to ride the success that sexy back had but he completely failed to do so filthy is an absolute fucking mess i mean yeah the beat is cool it has this industrial future funk kind of vibe which i actually don't mind on its own but it's just so cluster fucked with his vocals and every everything's just off it just it just sounds like a mess like the lyrics are horrendous and uninspired and just weak and Justin just doesn't seem into it at all and just the song as a whole like I said this album was completely forgotten like so we're just gonna go ahead take the song we're just gonna leave it in 2018 and just pretend it never happened moving on to number nine number nine is Fa You by Paul McCartney Ugh, what the fuck man the Beatles are one of the most influential comp groups in the entire music industry. They're some of the greatest composers in the history of music. In this day and age, we don't have people like the Beatles or Michael Jackson or someone as huge and influential as the Beatles. Their legacy continues to live on until this day, and their music carries on into further generations. So, Paul McCartney, let me ask you something. Why are you trying to tarnish your own legacy by putting out more music? Even worse, why are you trying to do this modern pop shit? This is ridiculous, man. You're a legend in the music industry, and the fact that you made this list is sad. It breaks my fucking heart. You are one of the greatest songwriters of all time. I am not taking away what you've done, but please do not put out shit like this. This is Walmart music, man. This is stuff that, like, the freaking chain smokers do. Like, just, just, just fuck this shit, man. Moving on. Number eight is Live or Die by Noah Cyrus and Lil Xan. <sighs> fucking mumble rap. Fucking Lil Xan. Like, Eminem buried all you fucking mumble rapper trash bags. Stay in the goddamn grave in 2019, please. This song is just garbage. I mean, the beat is weak and it lacks any feel or body to it. Noah Cyrus sings like a fucking shriveled up pussy that's been like, that hasn't been touched in like 80 fucking years. Lil Xan can barely fucking talk and sounds like a fucking retard. He literally sounds like you called him at four in the morning while he was fucking sleeping. Just, just everything about this song makes, makes me want to have a fucking brain aneurysm while repetitively smashing my head with a fucking sledgehammer. Moving on, number seven, Don't Cry by Lil Wayne and XXXTentacion. <sighs> Before anybody fucking attacks me or gets offended because I negatively mentioned 
the name of their worship god XXX Tentacion. I am not dissing XXX Tentacion as a person and do not intend to offend any of you, so chill the fuck out. Just because someone is dead doesn't make everything they've done good. Just saying. I don't have to be a fan of his music. This song, it's just fucking atrocious, but not just because of X, because of Lil Wayne. It's just fucking horrendous. This, this, this singing is just so fucking off and ear piercing. Like, as soon as you get into that, don't cry, it's just fucking terrible. Lil Wayne is, isn't even trying anymore on this song when it comes to rapping. Although the rest of the album was actually pretty good compared to most rap that's out there nowadays. Like, this, like Lil Wayne's just... On this song, I don't know what happened. I don't know what the fuck went wrong. X's chorus is just ear-piercing and just absolutely terrible. Go ahead. Fucking hate me. I don't give a fuck. Number six is Endgame by Taylor Swift. I said last year I cannot stand Taylor Swift. She's become washed up in the... Po- so washed up in the pop world that she probably wouldn't even recognize herself 10 years ago. This isn't entirely her fault, though. I've said a lot of bad things about Taylor, Taylor Swift, but what I've come to realize this year is, is that this, isn't, this is not entirely her fault. The record companies and the media are feeding her this kind of shit. They are telling her who she needs to be to earn money and get fans and shit, but you can really, really see and really hear in her music that she is not fucking into it, at all. She is so uninspired, it's just horrendous and sad to see. She constantly talks about this reputation and how people perceive her, yet she talks about how she doesn't care what anyone thinks about her, but like, if you didn't care what people think about you, then you wouldn't make every single song about what people think about you. Fuck man, somebody get into her head and wake up the real Taylor Swift. She's been so locked down because of these record companies and because of what she's become in the past few years, it's sad. Like, at first I didn't like her as a person, but now I realize it's not entirely her fault, and I feel bad. Number five, we are going further down the shithole. Number five is Cream by Iggy Azalea and Tyga. All these years later, this bitch is still in my worst songs list. First of all, how fucking dare you take a Wu-Tang classic and disrespect it and absolutely ruin it like that. You leave Wu-Tang out of your fucking garbage music and you write your own fucking music, okay? You see, when it comes to Iggy Azalea, I I don't really know what to say. All I can really do is fucking puke my guts out. That's honestly like all I feel about this fucking garbage. Iggy Azalea's voice, it's, it's, you've heard me say it before. Iggy Azalea's voice is irritating and so fucking awful it makes me want to shove a cactus down my throat while I get an ebb job from while I get a fucking hand job from Edward Scissorhands. Moving on. Number four. Oh god. Fifi by Nicki Minaj and Doofus69. This is an example of the question what the fuck is happening to mainstream music, man? What the fuck is happening to the music industry? This song is an embarrassment not just to the pioneers of hip-hop, it's an embarrassment to all music's past, present, and future. 6 9 is a fucking idiot. He looks stupid, he sounds stupid, he acts stupid, he's a disgrace to all fucking hip-hop music out there. Somewhere out there, Tupac, The Notorious B.I.G., Easy e and Jam Master J are rolling over in their fucking graves at this idiot. He sounds so fucking stupid, and he he makes this song just a million times worse than it already is. Nicki Minaj is capable at being decent when she needs to be, but this song shows that sometimes she just doesn't fucking care, because she can just put her name on a song and make money, so that's all that fucking matters to these idiots is fucking money. So, yeah, this song is fucking garbage, it sounds like a fucking dog whistle right embedded right in my ear. Eminem destroyed all the mumble rap this year, so again, we better not see any fucking mumble rap in 2019. I swear to God. Number three is I Love It by Kanye West featuring Lil Pump. 
This song is actually kind of funny, but the comedy serves no justice when it comes to the musical aspect of it. I don't know what the fuck happened to Kanye West he had the, after he had that meltdown on stage. I, I don't know what's been going on with him. Let's start with the video. The video is some weird Roblox type shit. It's actually kind of funny, but terrible at the same time. The lyrics are just absolutely meaningless and atrocious. Like, I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. What the fuck is that, man? Not just, but this is not just about Kanye West, though. Like, I absolutely hate Little Pump. I think he's the epitome of garbage. He is the leader of shit. But Kanye West, come on, man. You are better than this. You have proven in the past that you're better than this. We want the 808s and heartbreaks Kanye back. We want that Kanye West. Like, what the fuck is this shit, man? This is absolutely fucking terrible. It's stupid, it's weird, it's comedic, but it's just ridiculous, alright? Moving on to number two. It gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse. Number two is No Brainer by DJ Khaled featuring Justin Bieber, Quavo, and Chance the Rapper. This, this honestly just sounds like it's been done before. DJ Khaled is really just trying to recapture what he got last year with I'm the One or anything else he's done with Justin Bieber. Which, none of them have even been good tracks. I mean, this song is just bubblegum pop at its worst. Justin Bieber's been doing the same shit since, like, 2015, and it's really nothing special. He adds absolutely nothing to the song besides his name, and to be quite honest, DJ Khaled can do better than this. I'm not his biggest fan, but he can do better than this. I have never been the biggest Justin Bieber fan. In this generation, it has become kind of cool to hate on him, but I genuinely do not like him. This song literally, it did nothing. It accomplished nothing and contributed absolutely nothing for music. It was a total waste of space and time. Before we get to number one, I'm going to do what I did last year and introduce five dishonorable mentions. Dis ah, that's a hard word to say. Dishonorable. Five dishonorable mentions. Songs that were bad, but not bad enough to make it in the top ten because I had a lot to choose from. So the five dishonorable mentions. Meant to Be by B.B. Rexa. Rap Devil by MGK. Are you serious, man? You're really trying to diss Eminem? You're an idiot. Tacky Tacky by DJ Snake. <clears throat> Camilla Cabello, Never Be the Same. It's like a dog whistle in my ear, like I said. And Imagine Dragons with Natural. Sounds like every other Imagine Dragons song. Number one. All right, here we go, guys. My number one worst song of 2018 is Bitch, I'm Bella Thorne by Bella Thorne. Dear God, what the fuck? Like, I don't normally put something like this at number one, but this was so fucking bad that it makes me justify the other songs on this list because the other songs are done by legit musicians who most of them are still doing it for the music at least uh, like and at least they're fucking trying whether it's good or not at least they're fucking trying this she just she just sounds irritating and annoying and egotistical and self-entitled and and just stupid this young girl is so fucking full of herself, it's unreal, even though she's not that big of a star. Yeah, she came from Disney, but she's nowhere near the level of success that the other Disney stars have, like Selena Gomez and all them. She hasn't really done much besides a few Netflix film appearances, as far as I know, and just some social media shit. Uh, but anyways, this song is just fucking brutal. It has no rhythm, it has no emotion, no effort put into either the production, the lyrics, and even the vocals. I can't stress this enough. Please. This is and this goes to everybody. As a passionate music fan, I can't stress this enough. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a metalhead. I'm saying this because I love music, okay? Please stop making music for the wrong reasons. Motherfuckers who make music for the attention, for the fame, for the shock value, for the image, when, like, Music isn't about any of that shit, man. Music is about emotion, passion, talent, love, sadness, happiness. It's about putting your heart into something, man. Music should be made because you love to make music. And you should be able to put your fucking heart into it. 
this shit has got to stop, man. Let's just let's say in 2019, we have people who make music for the right reasons, and let's let's make sure 2019 is a better year for the music industry. Let's have people who put time and effort into making good quality music. I'm sick of these idiots who don't even fucking try anymore and who do it for the money and shit. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. That concludes my top 10 worst songs of 2018. I know I'm not as active as I used to be on this channel, like I said, but every year I do this video, no matter what, and I made a vow every year to dissect the worst of the worst. I love music, and I want to hear better music each year, even in the mainstream catalog. And I will expose anything that sounds like shit. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this year I am more active than I was. Last year, I know I say that every single year, and I'm not nearly at the level I was in 2016. But, you know, when you as you get older, it gets a little harder to do this. But I'll try my best, alright? Thank you guys for watching. Rock on.